factory is closed. And it's been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. He's open. He's around here somewhere. Throw out the gun. This one's got the name on it. Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. Clear me some space here. What the hell is the matter? Can someone please just kill these assholes already? Eyes open. Find some He's around cover. here somewhere. I'm wide open. You're fucking cold. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Where's some goddamn cover? He's pretty brave! Oh! 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 Clear me some space here! Stay down! Wide open here! How long do you think you can hold out? Dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop the peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. Let's have a look around. Now that we've finally got some peace and quiet. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until... This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is gonna make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine.
You know a Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddie. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. Fifty bucks? Do they think I'm made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of gold to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. 1947, not 1927. That's a girl from the hospital. I've seen people like you, but I had to pay admission. Can you drive to this one? There's a little sneak. That's him in the back, Cole. Root beers all around. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. We'll see. Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Well, be careful. He likes guns. How do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. That cherry pie was deep. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. You want the five star goddamn wet? You can drive. Do we know where we're going? You believe his story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score.
likely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. Took these things out of circulation. Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Catch all the good ones helps. Just when I think I've seen it all. doesn't appear to be connected. This isn't what we're looking for. Maybe these are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, detective. Only one address listed, 6310 Fountain Avenue. Thanks. I need to get back to it, Phelps. You catch all the good Detectives, ones. you'll want to come meet Mr. Fickman, the neighbor. Sounds like he's got something for you. Detectives Phelps and Duro, we were told you... Always knew they were up to no good. Son of a bitch spent more time in the chicken coop than in his house. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's very helpful. And next time you witness suspect behavior through the crack in your curtains, please call us before something like this happens. 
All these cops? It's gotta be something big, right? You know the way. You can drive. All right, where to? Find anything interesting? Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. I don't think so. Ha! Phelps, you jump like a girl. Now we're getting somewhere. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? You hungry or something, Phelps? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? This guy, EJ, seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. 
The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? <laughs> Crother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. <laughs> 